What's up gals and pals, it's your boy Vino. So it's Cinco de Mayo safely in the rear view mirror, but the warm weather here to stay, at least here in New York, I thought I would shift things from Mexico over to a little island in the Caribbean called Puerto Rico. Now if you guys don't know, Vino is Puerto Rican, and I do love to share in the culture when I get the opportunity, okay? Now when it comes to Puerto Rico and, and you know the whole cocktail world, it's really known for two things. Number one, it's rum, specifically Bacardi and Don Cu and also the most famous, or arguably the most famous beach cocktail of them all, the Pina Colada. But today I'm gonna to share a cocktail with you guys, which I've never had myself, and I'm really excited to try, and this was called Sol y Sombra. Now there's a few cocktails out there with this name, but this one here was created by Joe Shalom at the Carib Hilton. Now the Carib Hilton is also where the Pina Colada was invented. Now, if you don't know Joe Shalom, Joe Shalom also invented the Suffering Bastard, which is one of the most famous tiki cocktails that there is. So I'm really excited to try this out. And I found this, uh, this cocktail in the Potions of the Caribbean book, which is written by Jerry Beach Berry. It's one of my favorite cocktail books, and I'm surely gonna be uh, referring to it a lot this summer with my summer cocktails, all right guys? Anyway, so let's go ahead and make the Sol y Sombra, so make sure you stick around, because we're gonna boogie down. All right, folks, so before we get started, this is a shaking cocktail, so make sure you get your shaker tin out. Now, let us look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is an ounce and a half of a gold Puerto Rican rum. I'm gonna be using Bacardi, which is kind of the stand, the gold standard <laughs> when it comes to gold, gold Puerto Rican rum, all right? So an ounce and a half of this, all right, there we go. Beautiful. And then we're gonna want uh, three quarters an ounce of Jamaican, dark Jamaican rum. Okay, I'm gonna be using Appleton 8, so I want three quarters an ounce of dark Jamaican rum. Now this makes me very happy because there's my two favorite styles of rum, or Puerto Rican for bias reasons, of course, and Jamaican rum, so this is good. This is combining two of my favorite things, salsa music, reggae music, forget about it. Vino's a very happy man. All right, so the next thing we're gonna need after that is we're gonna need a half an ounce of apricot brandy. So this is a nice little addition to the cocktail. I'm very excited about this. I do love me some apricot brandy, and I'm going to be using Luxado, which is my favorite apricot brandy. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna need is two ounces of pineapple juice, okay? So I got my pineapple juice here, and let's go ahead and pour ourselves two ounces of pineapple juice. All right, oof. And if you guys have been watching me long enough, you know Vino loves pineapple juice. It's my favorite fruit in the world, favorite juice in the world, forget it. And then we're gonna do a half an ounce of lime juice, which I've got pre-squeezed over here. I don't even know why I did that. It was a half an ounce in here already, anyway. Force a habit, guys. <laughs> all right, and then we're gonna do two dashes of Angostura bitters, all right? So two ounces. One, two, beautiful. Three for good luck, there you go. And now we're gonna go ahead and add some ice to our shaker. Beautiful. And then we're gonna shake that for about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, folks, that is enough of the shake it shakes. All right, let's put this to the side. Now, it's, it's supposed to be served, at least according to the book, it's supposed to be served inside of a gutted pineapple, which Vino is not gonna do. Instead, I got something else. I got a pineapple glass, all right? <laughs> I got a pineapple uh, tiki glass here, and I'm gonna pour it into that. Now, it says to dirty dump it into the uh, glass, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Oh yeah, ooh, that is a healthy size pour for a cocktail. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just top that off with a little bit of crushed ice, just so we have a nice little, you know, visual effect here, right? Folks, if you don't have the uh, crushed ice, you don't have to do that, okay? But I'm gonna do it just so it looks really nice, look at, like, really pretty there. There you go, give it a nice pretty mouth, all right? There you go, beautiful. Then I'm gonna go ahead and garnish that up real nice like, all right? I'm gonna go and put a little dehydrated pineapple in there. All right, then I'm gonna do a dehydrated lime in there. There she goes. Okay, how about we do a pineapple frond in there just to make it look like a pineapple, right? There you go. See, it might not be a pineapple, but now it looks like one. And then we're just gonna do a little, let's, what do we do? A nice, pretty little umbrella. You know, it's like, there we go. There, now, oh, look at that, guys. Tell me you don't feel like you're on the island of Puerto Rico right now. <laughs> anyway, folks, so there goes our cocktail, our Sol y Sombra. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give our Sol y Sombra cocktail a sippy sip. Cheers. Oh. It's, 
You know, the thing about cocktails like this is they taste great at home, but they would taste so much better sitting by the ocean on the beach somewhere, you know, just listening to the waves crash, I tell you, because this, this is exactly where a cocktail like this takes me. Oh, this is so delicious, guys. It's really good. I mean, you're really getting all of the different parts of the cocktail playing really well together. You know, I love the way the Jamaican cocktail, the Jamaican rum really tastes in this. This is fantastic. I'd actually love to try this with something like Smith & Cross because Smith & Cross is my favorite rum, hands down, period. And I love the bold flavors that it adds to a cocktail. So that'd be interesting to try into this. But, you know, regardless of Smith & Cross, this is really delicious. The Appleton does a great job. You know, the, the uh, Bacardi Gold does what it does. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice rum there to just add a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of balance to the cocktail. Um, I love the pineapple juice. I love how bright and refreshing it makes the cocktail. The Angostura bit is actually does come in on the end. You get a little bit of spicy notes at the end of the cocktail, which I do like, folks. This is just a delicious cocktail. And even like, you know, let me get another sip here because I'm trying to pick up on the apricot liqueur. And it's there, it's got, like this, it's got like this really nice kind of finish on the cocktail, which I really like. I gotta tell you, this is a delicious cocktail, folks. I think anyone that's into tropical cocktails or tiki cocktails would absolutely love this cocktail. Anyway, folks, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share it with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.